So to me, one of the most important parts of Tai Chi overall, and actually if you said I only got to pick one skill and that was the one I got to keep, and all the rest I couldn't have, I would say that Ting Jing, feeling, listening, uh, sensing, that that's the skill. Because like, what are the first things in Tai Chi? Well, it's actually relax and structure. And it's, you're combining both of those at the same time. But you have to be able to feel and sense in order to be able to relax in the deeper way that Tai Chi is really after, Song, um, and to be able to do that. And you have to be able to feel to see if your structure as, is as perfected as ideally it would be in the long term as well. So there's basic structure, but then more and better, 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 better. And the only way you're going to do that is to be sensitive to it and to test it and then feel that and then buy that feeling to get it right. And then all of the energetics even directed by your mind is that you have to be able to perceive the application of force through and in your body and inside someone else and get better and better and better at perceiving that and then understanding that and working with that. And the sensitivity is the key thing. And in the beginning, we use Clear's internal push hands in order to be able to feel inside somebody's body and to feel things like in the beginning in order to help to build the skill, their breathing, um, their, their tensions, their connection in terms of their structure, their, um, their, their, their belly and their digestive processes at work, their actual breath, like I said, the heartbeat, the, um, and then the, the rooting and the settling and or the connections that they're making that are the internal connections and being able to perceive those in the other person. And at first, very close. And of course, for most people, what I would call gross, not very skilled yet. But then you get better and better and better at zoning, at zeroing in there and feeling more and more and more and being very exact about where it is and where it isn't. And if there's a gap or a break or a tension, and being able to pinpoint those. And so if I just push grossly into the person, he can defend that pretty well. But if I can feel inside of him and find a gap somewhere, and I can fill into that gap, it doesn't take a whole lot of force to push that. Even though if I, if I just push him grossly, just ah, I can put a lot more force than that and do that and, and not move him. But if I'm really on the spot for where the hollow is and can kind of, it's right there, I don't have to put a lot of power into that. Same thing if I can feel where there's a, and by hollow I really mean a gap, a, uh, an inappropriate gap. If I can feel an inappropriate tension, same thing. I can really target that and it doesn't take very much to catch it. And then can I feel things like his feet where they meet the floor exactly at that point where, they, where his feet and the floor come together. And if I'm off a little bit, then it's a lot harder to do something. But I can get the exact spot then he comes up off the floor like that. And if he can drop root into the ground, if I can feel where that root is versus where it's not, in other words, can I go to the bottom of that root and pick it up? And if I can, it's easy to move him again. And then at first, close, but then eventually further away. And so this is just gross again. And then if I feel a gap and filled it or the, um, the tension and catch the tension or the, um, where the feet meet the floor, depending on what they're doing on any of this, of course, to some degree. Uh, if they just collapse in uh, for Tai Chi, it's that I follow him in and so I'll still have it. Um, and then at the advanced, he could be collapsing or being really soft and noodle-like and yet if I'm sensitive enough, I can pick up and capture even though that's going on. Um, and then, um, like I say, down into the root from out here, that kind of a thing, this, this way, and then, and right now I'm taking my time and finding it, making sure I'm right on it, all that kind of stuff. And then if they make contact with you, just give me that, being able to find it in them, and that was a tension that he put in there as he was pushing. Here's where his feet meet the floor. Um, he doesn't have any root going there, so... There we come. Now he's got root to that deep. This kind of a thing. And notice I'm just giving it this much. And if I just did that same movement or more, but it's gross, 
it doesn't do it. It's only when I pinpoint that it's, that it's there like that. And then getting better and better and better at it, them doing something to you, and or even out here at fingers to fingers, like that, and then being able to pick up any, and in that case I went to kind of where feet are attached to the, where his feet and the floor meet, but could just as easily be doing it to a gap, or in this case, he's got a pretty big tension up top there, and so I did it to that tension, that kind of thing, fingers to fingers. Um, and then the other part of this is getting, so you can do it faster and faster and faster and faster to the point that as soon as he's coming to make contact, there he is, mm. and that you have it um, right off instantly. So even if they were firing at you somehow, being able to make the contact, and have it go, sorry. No, <laughs> Tell them what you got there, because it's because oh, I just, just touched them. It wasn't more. It just all, I, everything that I brought just fed back into me. It collapsed in it, and it, it referred to my elbow, which is why you heard me say, ooh. You OK? Shake a little bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm the, uh, shake it off, but. Uh, but, but it was just a touch, but it was a touch with that sensitivity and using that information in terms of where I pushed. Uh, people sometimes have a hard time wrapping their mind around this, and my answer for that would be, look, if I've got a cue ball on a pool table, and I hit that cue ball in a very specific place right in the middle, aimed right to the exact spot on the other ball, I can get a nice clean pow shot that'll, the ball will go, it'll hit the other one, it'll go. If my cue slips off, off that edge, my cue ball kind of goes and doesn't go anywhere, or it kind of skews around for a second, never hits the other ball. If I hit it and I come up off there, maybe I get it to roll across the table, but it either misses the ball completely or it catches the edge. It doesn't transfer much force. It kind of moves a little bit because it did get contacted by something. And it's the difference between that clean, accurate shot with understanding, getting used to that, that I know I'm in the middle of that ball as I hit into the ball, feeling that, knowing I'm going to drive it up the table, knowing I've got a certain kind of a spin on that ball if, you're, if you've played for tricks at all and that that spin is going to interact with that other ball in a very specific place, in a very specific way, it's going to cause a very specific reaction on the table. And it really is an internal and inside you version of that kind of thing, but not just the end of the stick to the end of a ball, as much as it is being able to really feel inside of them and feel what's going on in there and then relate to those things very directly. I'm, what I'm explaining to you is a skill that takes you're going to put a lot of time into it in Tai Chi from beginner into advanced. Ideally, you're working on these skills more and more and more and more. And then when you see somebody that actually has the skill, because it does take a, long, a good long time to develop to a high level, but there should be little stepping stones all the way. And in our program, there is. Um, and we work on it every so many classes. We're doing some aspect of Ting in some depth. And it's this continual thing that you study, and then when you get somebody that has it in depth, it's really profound, and it looks magical, and all that stuff, and it's just the applied skill that has been built over the time of practice, kind of the definition of Kung Fu, um, like that. So if you want more, and you want to see some of the exercises to help build some of these skills, and the ability to feel inside the body like that, and then also inside of your own body, both for health, and for healing, and for self-defense, ultimately, but that's a little longer out, typically, because your skill has to be a little higher to do that in a real situation because of the speed that everything's happening at. But if you want those things, it's in our program. Um, try the free trial and take a look at it. And thanks for watching. Thanks for helping me. And thanks for watching. <laughs>